Today we're testing the best selling Shop Miss A's makeup products to see if they are hit or miss. So apparently Shop Miss A is known for their $1 makeup. I can't believe I have never heard of them till recently. So I knew I had to check them out. Prices were as low as 89 cents. At the time they were having a sale. I'm so excited to finally try them out today. Honestly, I forgot what I ordered because it was over a month ago. So let's find out if these cheap makeup products are worth our money. Of course, I put my headband on and I have no makeup on right now. If you couldn't tell, it's storming out. So if you hear thunder, you know why. I've noticed that it says I did pay for a protection. So I wonder if that's why it was all bubble wrap, but it did come nicely packaged, but it wasn't in a box. So how do they usually do it if you didn't buy the protection? I don't know. Oh no, some, I knew it. Okay, so it looks like one of the things I got ordered didn't come and they said I get a credit. Uh, hopefully I have time because it's been over a month. So on the order thing, it says, oops, it has to be the blush. Okay, so we should have the primer. So I'm gonna find that. 12 seconds later. So it turns out I didn't order primer. Like I said, I forgot what I ordered. I was gonna, but it was gonna be over my budget. So I decided to put that back and I'm just gonna use my own for now. Really on my eyelids. Cause I already put moisturizer on my face. So let's move on to the foundation. And this one was wrapped really yeah. good. Like I had to go through a lot. <laughs> I have two foundations. You sure you get the right one? The drop. This one's the drop. This is. <laughs> I don't think I ever had a drop or foundation before. So that's gonna be fun. It says it's a buildable satin foundation. I'm not sure what that means. Buildable, you keep adding on to it, right? Says it's lightweight, well, we'll see. That's what I prefer, stuff that isn't like overwhelming. I don't need that much foundation or I just don't like wearing foundation. So I try to go for more of a natural look. So I'm definitely not gonna put too much on. Shake well. <laughs> Let's do the fun part. Oh. I'm no makeup expert, so I'm just kind of randomly putting it on my face because I'm just gonna blend it out later, I guess. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's my fault. I don't know how to use a dropper, but it wasn't really dropping, I don't know. Okay, so I already have this wet. Uh, I'm gonna blend it. So the shade is Fair Ivory. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Cause I really do have fair skin. So I felt like that would be my closest match. I don't know if I put enough on to even notice anything. Okay, I just wiped. <laughs> but it's a drop, we're not supposed to do it that way. Okay, I kind of see it more. I mean, I guess since it's blending in well, like I can't notice it, that's a good thing. That means it is my shade. So it's definitely dewy, they call it like wet, you know, not a matte looking. So I probably should bring some to my neck. I mean, I don't know, is my neck different than my face? I guess that's if I was going darker on my face, um, didn't make a difference. I don't know, I'll have to look back to see. I got it for like $1.68. Right now it's $1.88. So it's still not that bad compared to high-end prices, but it's not really like a high coverage one. It's very light coverage, so. Definitely worth it if it's something you're looking for, for like not that noticeable results. You know when people do the no makeup makeup look? I think that's what that's going for. <laughs> so what's the point? Anyways, I do like it. Let's see if it goes well with the concealer. Concealer time. Dun, 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 dun. Top secret concealer. I wonder why it's called that. Is it top secret? What's the secret? We must find out, right? <laughs> Maybe the secret is how cheap it is. So it does say it's a dollar right now and I got it for 89 cents. It's pretty, oh. It's pretty, oh. Oh my God, I'm gonna break it. It's pretty tiny, I was about to say, and that's why, why I dropped it. It's very light, and I got it in the porcelain color. Hopefully I got the right shade again. I was winging that for sure, because I don't really buy a lot of makeup products. Oh no, 
Oh, that's kind of yellowish. What the heck was the options? <gasps> Why did I get this? I could have got fair. Wait, no, you're supposed to go one shade lighter than... I thought this was lighter though. I don't know. We're just going to test it out because that's what I got. Honestly, how do I even get this out? Like the texture of it? I can't... If I feel of my knuckle. Th this is why I want to try it too because it's... Like, it's a whole t different texture. Usually it's, I get the ones out of like a tube. So, I'm like, how do you even work this? <laughs> I guess we just dab it. Good thing I have this tiny sponge that was actually from the dollar store. The actual dollar store. Not to be confused with dollar store makeup, Miss A. Enough talking, let's see how it applies. We're doing this all wrong. Okay, typically I put it under my eye, like drops. But this, I can't put it on my... Well, we're just gonna have to do it this way. It is lighter. Okay, good, good, good. I thought it was gonna come out yellow. It looks <laughs> yellow. All right, so I did a good job. Let's blend, let's blend. So it went on smoothly. I feel like I look so white. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is the lighting so bright? What do you think? Do I look okay? But yeah, again, another looks more like a dewy finish, which I prefer. I feel like this tiny bottle still has a lot of product in it, even if it was small. I don't really go through it fast, my concealers, so I don't mind it. Next is bronzer, a little contour stick. Paw Paw <laughs> Contour Stick. I thought it was a cute name and it has a little yeah. kitty cat on it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say like all this stuff is like cruelty free. I guess that's cool, you know. It's in the shade Fawn. I kind of just picked a random one again. Didn't want to get something too dark. So I went with a lighter one. Uh, I should have went a little bit darker, I feel like. We'll see. We don't know until we try it, right? That's another thing. I'm just experimenting with new things. I've never had like a stick. So this is going to be interesting. So I think you do it over here. Goes on like a crayon. Um, how do we blend it though? I feel like for this texture though, I'm gonna use this. It's definitely soft and smooth. It's not a powder. Yeah, very dewy. So yeah, definitely not that dark. So I thought I picked the purple shade for this color. Pom Pom Glow Within Illuminating Powder. I thought I picked the purple one, but I guess last second I changed it apparently to this shade, um, Brunch Date. Is that the shade? I don't know. But it looks more gold looking. I don't know why I picked that, but I guess now I have warmer hair. It's my go. That's pretty big. I see the glitter. I see you. Dun, 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 dun. I definitely see the glitter, the sparkle, the shimmer. So yeah, I did have to skip the blush for this one because they were, I guess they were out of stock and they didn't tell me until they sent it. But I feel like naturally my cheeks have like a rosy tint to it. So I guess it works out. And I definitely see the shine. Oh my gosh. Pretty. Now we're doing the setting powder. So for this one, I'm doing a matte translucence. So it says it's used for multiple things. Um, definitely gonna put it under my eye because I didn't set that yet. <laughs> I'm used to ones already have so much out. I guess I kind of shook it out a lot. Should I put it on the foundation as well? Cute. Okay, so nothing unique. I can't really say anything long term yet, um, but it definitely does the job and a very affordable option, of course. I know, I, I just realized I was supposed to do the highlighter before the foundation. As you can see, I haven't put foundation on in a while. So I'm just gonna touch it up real quick. Okay, cute. Okay, next is eyebrows. I got this eyebrow pencil. Slim brow, it says. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it says I got in the shade Caramel. I really don't know what happened. I think I just really wanted to try it out and they were sold out of brown. And this is way before I dyed my hair. So I didn't realize. So we're just gonna try it out and review it. And maybe if I like it, I can get a darker shade. I just gotta open it first. How do you even open it? One eternity later. 
Oh, du you should twist it. I didn't even have to use the scissors. Okay. All right, so let's see what this guy looks like. We got definitely a very light brown color. Very tiny. I feel like it's just gonna break. That's why I gotta bring it down. Okay, just gonna be careful. All right, so let's try it out. Um, It doesn't come with the eyebrow tool. So let's give it a swirl or a, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's gonna be too light. Like I said, it's gonna be delicate. It's already pushing down. I mean, that's why I wanted to try it because it's not so rough like the other kind of pencils I used to try. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Blend it in. See if it like moves a little bit. I'm trying to see, is there a difference? Mm, a little bit. Okay, let's do the other side. I mean, it's not the worst thing. I don't know, I feel like it goes in my hair a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? It's a little mess with that one. Well, not their fault. I just picked the wrong shade. All right, so their makeup palette. I don't even remember get, picking this one at all. I gotta check if this is even right. I must have did it last minute again. I thought I picked a different one, but I'm not mad because I was worried because the other one I thought I picked had a lighter blue in it. Well, this is a kind of light blue, but this has dark blue. So I definitely want to play a dark blue. So I feel like that'll look better with my eyes and my hair. <laughs> now the lighter blue, I don't know. I'm going to add some of the contour stick because I don't have a brown in that palette. Again, I don't know if you can notice a difference, but it blended well. <laughs> so I'm trying the blue shade. I wonder if it's like a green colored. Yeah, it's not really coming out. It's not that dark you know pigmented and i'm gonna go in with that lighter skin tone shade let's try this guy now i'm gonna use the dark blue on the bottom okay okay this one shows up i'm gonna do the other side <laughs> okay it looks funny i really like the navy blue but i don't really like the other colors I mean, I haven't tried the gray yet. I might add it later, we'll see. I mean, it might not have been the top bestseller. I was trying to go with a blue theme. When you go to the bestseller tab, depending on if you go on the regular one or Pacific Eyeshadow, you can press best selling and look from the top and then from the bottom is where you see the least selling. But we'll talk about that with the next makeup video. And so finally I made it to the eyeliner, which is the one I was excited for the most. It's a navy blue one. Artista? I don't know if I pronounced that one. <laughs> so that's why I put the darker blue under my eyes. So it's gonna go with the eyeliner. Yep, that's what a typical eyeliner looks like, a liquid one. So it was very easy to apply. It just came out darker than I thought it was gonna be. It is navy blue, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess that is the color darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm sure you have this problem too. My other side never looks the same with the wing oh well okay look a little crazy something went wrong i must have bought two by accident because why would i need two purple eyeliners unless that's what i was going to use for this video the dark one i wouldn't consider this one a best seller but it was in the middle this one this one's the worst this lighter one so we're gonna save that for the next video but i was thinking of putting this violet one on my waterline it's pretty dark, so it might go with dark blue color. Okay, it's not that rough. I was afraid it's gonna be rough because I hate for it to be rough and put it on my waterline. I don't really do that anyways. It's not that great for you. I mean, it's slightly noticeable. Yeah, see, it's gonna make my eyes water. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for the in the, my eye because that's not, not it. I definitely can see myself wearing it under my eyes at least, or even on my eyelid. It's not rough at all. It's like really soft. I'm surprised. So I would say this one's a good deal. It's like a dollar. So not bad if you want purple eyeliner. So this mascara is called Fat Lash. It just made me laugh when I read it, but I get what they meant by that. It doesn't really make your lashes fat. Probably volumizing mascara, I'm assuming. All it says is fat lash mascara. So, all right, it's gonna make my lashes fat. Now, hopefully it doesn't actually make my lashes fat because I did get false lashes to put on. 
So I'm only gonna put one coat of this mascara to give it a try. If I can get it open. Okay, so pretty normal size, not too small. So how's that gonna make my lashes fat? I would expect a fat applicator, but no. I mean, it's, it's bigger than some, but not the biggest I've seen. Um, not like fat, it's cute. Okay, there, gotta stop. I gotta put lashes on. But even without my lashes, I feel like it's more put together now. I'm not, I don't normally wear this much makeup and I definitely feel like it's a look, you know, like. We're looking for Alexis. The, the worst sellers looks kind of cheap. I'm just kidding. It's not cheap. What I mean is like little, like if that's the vibe it's going for. I'm already dissing it <laughs> for no reason. What I mean is that this one's more fuller. Look at that. It says it's reusable, so that's why I want to do the mascara first. So I don't get mascara on the lashes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't wear lashes. I've tried it in high school, especially for prom. I wanted to try it and it didn't work out. I don't know if it was the glue or me, me because they didn't stay on my lashes. Now, I'm talking about uh, the regular kind of the glue. And then later on, I did try the magnetic ones. Actually, I think I made a video on this channel well back. Again, it didn't work out. I'm doing something wrong or it's just the cheap lashes I got. And this is another cheap, well, it's not even the lashes, probably the glue itself. And the glue, almost forgot. Let's make sure we get the right glue. So this is the glue I'll be using. It, it better be super, better be work. You better not let me down because it's gonna make me not wanna wear lashes. But be honest, I watched a video, a little bit of videos for how to apply it. You can't really know until you do it yourself. There, did that. Yeah, so now I know why I don't do the eyelashes or false lashes. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's the best I could do, I mean, it keeps coming off, so I just give up. I'm probably gonna need more time to practice, so I'm gonna have to do it another time. The eyelashes, it's, I'm gonna just redo my eyeliner and the look and then um, move on to the next thing. Sadly, I really wanted these to work. So I pretty much added everything again and I got my thumb in the, the green part. Look, apply it on just for fun. A little something extra. I went for this look, lip gloss. I kept it pretty simple because for the worst sellers, we're gonna do lipstick and it's a whole like lipstick set. It's some glazed high shine lip gloss. It's pretty base, you know, nothing special, but it's one of the best selling lip glosses. So, so it just basically made it look sparkly, shiny. But finally, the last thing we got is setting spray. Cause I mean, it took a while to get here. So hopefully it's not already melted. I think it probably is, but typically you wouldn't be talking so much when you're doing makeup. So it's okay. This weightless uh, da, da, last long lashy shine free matte finish. Okay, so it says this is a matte finish. So it's not gonna make it dewy. I kind of already look dewy. Oh my gosh. I like the, the bottle design though, it's purple. That really caught my eye. Now, what I don't like is I can't open it. So we shake it. So shake it well. Um, and then hold 10 inches from face. And uh, this is 10 inches. I don't Close my eyes, right? I forgot how many times. Oh, it doesn't say how many times. One more time to smell it. Oh, you know what it smells like? Baby wipes. It's kind of weird. Not expecting that kind of smell from setting spray. I really wish those lashes worked. Besides that, that's my problem. I'm surprised how well all these makeup products worked. So here's the finish. Best sellers makeup look from Shot Miss Ace. Now I added my glasses because I'm a glasses wearer. So this is how I would look. I think it looks cute with my new glasses. But I feel like these are the most affordable makeup products I've ever found so far that are pretty decent. 
though I guess the eyeshadow wasn't top tier, but it's a dollar, so can't expect the most out of that one. I love the eyeliner for sure. So the best selling ones were definitely worth it, but are the worst selling ones worth it? We'll see my next makeup video I'm gonna do. But until then, have you ever bought a box of cheap return makeup? Because I did. Watch to see if it was worth it here. If you did like this video, remember to press the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!